I'm Becca Palmer, I'm a senior at High Point University, and I'm on the women's soccer team. So I tore my ACL my senior year of high school um, in my last club game. Um, it was, I was in the game, I didn't have the ball, I was running in a straight line, and I just kind of felt my knee pop out of place. And um, I'd never felt something like that before. I've never been seriously injured. I quickly realized that I couldn't put any weight on my knee, and um, that's when I knew something was wrong, and I needed to go get it checked out. And I found out that I completely severed my ACL, and um, it was gonna be about nine months before I could play soccer again. I was supposed to be coming to High Point to play um, start preseason in about six weeks. The hardest thing for me was having to make the phone call to my head coach because you hear the horror stories of getting injured and then losing your scholarship and not being able to play anymore. And so that was really the most terrifying part for me. I didn't know what my future at High Point was gonna be like. And um, when I found out that I was still gonna be able to come here and play and um, still have my scholarship, I was so excited and so grateful to be here. My first surgery was in May of 2015, and that was just to reconstruct my ACL. Um, the recovery process from that was really hard. I struggled a lot. Um, I actually didn't run until four months post-op, so I really struggled running, getting back, um, getting my range of motion back, and then that following March, I knew something just wasn't right. My knee was swelling all the time. I was getting my knee drained. I was getting cortisone shots. Just, it wasn't going the way I wanted it to be going. And that's when I knew, I think I need to do something else. I think maybe something else is wrong. And so I went in um, and my surgeon decided, you need to have a second surgery. We need to remove a screw from your knee and I need to fix up your meniscus and then you'll be good to go. And I really saw that as a setback. That was a huge setback for me. I was really upset. I was coming up on a year from my first surgery, and so I really thought I was gonna be playing by then. And when I realized that this was gonna set me back a little bit, I was devastated. And then I quickly realized that this second surgery was what I needed to get me back on the field. And so it kind of changed my mindset there. That's when I knew I need this, I need to do this, I need to get healthy. And so I had that second surgery, and that took me about three months to fully recover from that. The mental side of the game is what I really struggled with. Um, I had lost all my confidence as a soccer player, um, as a person really, it just like tore me down, especially after that second surgery. And so I definitely had to reach out to other people. I went and saw a sports psychologist and he helped me build some confidence back. He helped me realize that, you know, if I'm gonna tear my ACL again, it's gonna happen and I'm gonna get over it just like I did the first time. And so that was something I really had to get over. The first few sessions she came out and did with me, some one-on-one -on -one sessions, I noticed that in her cutting and turning, she didn't seem as agile as she was before and she wasn't as sharp, you know, and it was, I, I spoke to Allie, our trainer, about what can we do in the training room um, and in other parts of her environment to help with her rehab, to feel like she could cut and turn and she was sharp. Um, you know, what things could we add in? And we started adding that in and it was towards the end of the spring that, you know, we saw a huge light at the end of the tunnel. It was the quickest I had seen her, the, the uh, fastest in her transitions and being able to hold on to the ball and just, she looked like herself again and it was so exciting. You could see her just beaming, um, you know, from that, just that confidence that she was building. I had not really planned on wearing the brace. I wanted to work my way out of it. Um, and then after that second surgery, that's when he said, okay, two knee surgeries, you need to wear a knee brace. And that was okay for me. Um, it didn't bother me. If I was gonna play soccer again and I had to wear the knee brace, that's what I was gonna do. It was very exciting for me. It was very exciting for this program to know that she wasn't only gonna make you know, a small impact, but she was gonna be able to make a huge impact because the player she was before the injury was already a very good player that we thought would come in and help us. Um, so in that moment, I just knew that you know, her career would finish out here on top of you know, anything else that she had accomplished already in her life. I went from not getting any minutes, not even putting my jersey on for an entire year, to now being a captain here for this team. And I really think it shows that you can start from ground zero and work your way up. I just worked hard every single day. I relied on the people around me. I had a good attitude and that's what got me to where I am. And I think everyone can do it. I think if you show up every day and you buy in and you work hard, that good things will happen to you. And I love being a captain here on this team and working hard for these girls every day. 
and I'm just really lucky to be here.